Are you tired of Microsoft telemetry snooping on your projects? There's got to be a better way. Are you tired of open source alternatives which require Karate Kid levels of training in order to save a file or exit and don't let you use the mouse for some reason? There's got to be a better way. Hi, I'm Andrew from Get Into Game Dev. You may remember me from such tutorials as Can I Borrow a Value? and Jimmy's first semaphore. Today, I want to talk about Kate, the KDE Advanced Text Editor. Kate sits somewhere between Vim and VS Code. It's a lightweight editor that does the job, but otherwise stays out of the way. The KDE project is known for two things, having the best mascot. Once upon a time, there were cyber creatures known as KDE dragons. Under their scales were KDE hearts and free software. These dragons were scattered all around Flossland, tending to their own business. Life was super simple, and things only changed slowly, much slower than what happened in proprietary land across the belief ocean. And for its customizability, and Kate is no exception. Kate comes with a collection of color themes, but changing them is as simple as copying a theme, editing, and then saving it. What's that you say? Language support? Kate supports some 400 or so languages, and adding a language server is very simple. For common languages, it's as simple as opening a file and following the prompts to download a server. I configured Kate to run Ada and found it a pretty seamless experience. In my case, all I had to do was download the Ada language server, extract it, put it in my path somewhere, and then instruct Kate to find it on the command line. This was just a few minutes of research, and I could still use my mouse. That's right, with enough bells and whistles to make the surly postdoc down the corridor nod his head in approval, Kate just might be the best choice. 